Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Google AI Studio just released a new vibe coding experience in their new platform. Here you see that they have attached another new button which is the I am feeling lucky. So when you click on this button, it will generate a lot of new ideas and also with that new ideas, it will use all of these plugins. Here you see that when I have clicked on this I am feeling lucky, it has used this nano banana and this imagine this plugin and here you see that these are the two plugins and also here you see that there are video understanding voice generation google maps and many many things are there that you can use to build your apps and also there is a model section so when you click on it on the right hand side you will find this gemini 2.5 pro and 2.5 flash so basically if you compare this platform with the other bold.new lovable it is same but here you will get some extra advantage of this new plugins and plus uh, this new idea generator things and uh, if you click on this i am feeling lucky here you see that every time it will give you some ideas some new prompts and with that prompts also it will choose that new plugins okay so now if i click on this i am feeling lucky here you see that it has taken this ai power chatbot and think more needed so if you see in this list here you see this is the ai power chatbot it has taken and think more ideas when needed this is the plugin so every time you will get new ideas of vibe coding and every time it will choose the plugins okay so this is very interesting right so let me take an, uh, some ideas and let me build one app so here you see that i have got this kind of idea from this gemini that is photo tourism app take a photo in the city ai recognize the landmark and fetches its history via search and shows an ar style narrated clip and for this it is using this uh, google search data analyze images and this generate speech this three plugin it is using now click on this build and also you can configure the the text tag by default it is using this react and typescript if you want to shift to angular you can do that okay so let me close it and click on this build and here you see that it will do that things and here you see that during building it has found these two errors and it is automatically solving that errors you don't have to manually tell it that i have found this error please solve it so this is the vibe coding right and here you see that on the right hand side this photo tourist app is ready and uh, it is asking me for the camera permission so just click on this allow and after that uh, this is the interface here you can upload the image so for this image what i can do that i can search on google the paris and there is eiffel tower and just download this eiffel tower image okay save the image and save it and here go there and upload that image and here you see that identifying the landmark so it will identify that which landmark is it let's see and here you see that i got the information it is eiffel tower in paris and also i have got this kind of information what is uh, this eiffel tower and a lot of information a history and uh, here you see that these are the sources it has used like wikipedia medium quora and paris tickets lots of website it has found and it has gathered that information and it has uh, it has provided the summary of that eiffel tower information okay and now there is a audio button it has attached so if you just play it Welcome to the iconic Eiffel Tower, a magnificent symbol of Paris and a right? marvel of This is amazing, right? So within a minute, this AI powered photo tourist app is ready. So this is five coding, right? And uh, here you see that automatically it will use the plugins. And if you want to deploy it on the right hand side also, here you see that uh, there is a share button and also this deploy app. If you click on this deploy, 
there also you can select this any project okay and after that here you see the set up the billing because you are going to use the Gemini API right so in that case you need to set up the billing and uh, if you want to attach your own domain then also you can do that and finally you can uh, share it with the public for use and you can earn some revenue from them by charging some billing uh, monthly subscription right so this is really a vibe coding uh, platform and also here you see that there is a preview and code option so if you switch to this code you will get the full code and production ready and uh, they have maintained the file structure in a good manner this icon is a separate folder these components are the separate folder and this spinner is also separate file this is really good and also they have made another services folder inside that they have gemini services so this is the gemini uh, 2.5 flash they are using this is the tts means the audio overview uh, features that we have added okay and uh, here you see the gemini 2.5 flash they are using for identifying the image okay and there is audio service this is the audio service the whole code they have written and you can download this code here you see that this is the download app button and you can copy this app to a different uh, different folder and you can make some, some changes to there and also on the left hand side here you see that they have given some of the suggestions like add AR overlay means if you add AR overlay then it will just add some colors to that Eiffel Tower okay and improve image quality and also this add share feature and caching results means if you are searching this Eiffel Tower uh, next time then it will not take much time it will give you that information from the cache so you will implement the cache feature also so this is really helpful man I have found this new vibe coding experience in Gemini and uh, Google AI studio is really great and you should definitely try it and what I will suggest you please use this I am feeling lucky features and if you use it multiple times then you can build multiple AI powered apps within a minute and also you can experience a different kind of features that you can include in your app right so guys I think you have found this video helpful and here you see that yesterday I published two video regarding this Gemini 3.0 Pro the lithium flow model that is available on the web dev arena I have tested it with the Gemini 2.5 Pro this is the first one video and the second one video I have tested it with the Cloud Haiku 4.5 so please watch this video you will get a enough idea that how much Gemini 3.0 Pro is powerful see Gemini 2.5 Pro is powerful but Gemini 3.0 Pro is much powerful you will understand that if you watch this video okay and also this massive AWS outage Deepseek OCR model and MA, MAI image one this is the Microsoft new image model and GLM 4.6 and cloud code integration there are many things that I have published so please go and watch this video and if you have found this uh, if you are new to this channel please make sure to subscribe this channel like this video and see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care